What you got? Let's cook. What you got? Let's cook. Hey, what you got cooking, Natty? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is day 13 of the What You Got? Let's Cook. What You Got? Let's Cook. So it's early morning. It's only 7.30 in the morning. And I just want to pick something from the can so I know what, what the heck I'm doing today. So let's pick two items from the What You Got? Cook With Me. What You Got? Cook With Me. Let's see what we're going to cook with today. One, two. Beef broth cubes. And panko. I think I could manage something with that. Beef broth cubes and panko. Okay, I think I have an idea. Okay, so beef broth, cubes, and a little bit of panko, just a little bit. So, I think I'm going to make some kind of Well, you know what I think I'm going to do? I have those hamburger patties that were left from that box that I opened up, I think it was last week. And I still have, I think, two or three patties left in the freezer. So we're going to use that up. So these hamburgers are freebies because we already opened the box. We already picked it from a super freezer. It's just we didn't use it up all on the same day because who's going to eat six patties in one day, right? So we're going to use those patties today. Whatever's left from that, we're going to do something with that. But this is my last haul. A great thing to use for this meal. Sweet potatoes. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the patties that I had from the freezer and I'm gonna make some air fried sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna use up Two sweet potatoes. I'm gonna cut them up, put them in the air fryer. But with this, still kind of concocted in my mind what I want to do with it exactly. But these will be cut up and put into the air fryer. Now, because I know this will take longer in the air fryer, I'm gonna start with this before I start the meat. So we're gonna cut them. Uh, yeah, we're gonna cut them this way. Not too thick, but thick enough. About that thick, I'd say. And then we're gonna put the spices on it and the panko to make it crispy. So I thought that was a great deal. What was it, 79 cents for four of them? For four of these. And lately I've been finding that just buying one or two is so expensive. I don't want to buy a whole bag because by the time I actually go through sweet potatoes, a whole bag of sweet potatoes, uh, they get really dry inside. So uh, I usually want to buy one or two. And uh, yeah, usually they're so expensive. But for 79 cents for four on the clearance rack, I was quite happy with that. Okay, so now I'm just going to take them all and put them in here in this bowl, this container. I'm going to spray it with some olive oil. See what happened there? It must have got burnt. Huh. I guess maybe it was closer to the air fryer one day and burnt my container. All right. Anyways, shiny. So just put some olive oil in there. Mix it all up. Okay, so we're going to use some of that lemon seasoning. Just because I find sometimes it gets really dry in the air fryer. So 
Maybe that will help it a little bit. A little bit of salt and pepper. Magic pepper. Magic pepper. A little bit of salt. Magic salt. Magic salt. Okay. I'm going to put some garlic powder in there. Garlic powder. Should do it again. Okay. And now I'm going to add the panko. So I'm just going to throw it all in there. Just like that. Oh, those mothers in there. Should I put the lid on? Then just shake it around. And that's it. Time to put it in the air fryer. So I'm try to organize them so they're not really stacked up on top of each other as much as you can. So two is perfect for my size of air fryer. And it's perfect for me and Jay. And once again, Jay loves sweet potatoes. If he had a choice between white, yellow, or whatever, he would say, no, give me sweet potatoes. Those are my favorite. Okay, so I'm going to put them in for 10 minutes at 400. And then we're going to flip them. So 400 for 10 minutes. It's got a mind of its own. There we go. And now for the star of the show. We are going to make some hamburgers. So these are the frozen hamburgers we had when we made that barbecue not too long ago. We had three left. We didn't cook them up. And we're like, well, we'll make something else with that, right? So I'm going to cut them in half once they're ready. Because what I'm planning on doing is maybe making pita cheeseburgers. She's probably in there going, oh, yes, please. Pita cheeseburgers. Jay, I'm making pita cheeseburgers. You okay with that? Of course he is. Actually, I might just cut it right now because I need the room. So I put them in the fridge for about an hour so it softened it a little bit. So it was easier to cut and everything else. So I was thinking about cutting it at first, but then... Like brains. Ew, brains. So one thing about Jay is he knows I love gadgets, right? Kitchen gadgets and stuff like that. I use stuff in my kitchen. Who wants me to make more bread? He bought me a new pan. It's a big one. So he was talking about zucchini bread yesterday, and all of a sudden he shows up with this. wants me to make zucchini bread soon. So maybe next week I'll make a zucchini bread. Okay, so I'm going to use the cube now. The broth, you know, the bouillon. And I'm going to make some kind of, you know, flavoring sauce for my hamburgers. Now I have this for next time. Because can't use them all. They're still wet. Oh, there's two left. So there's two left. Good for another recipe for another time. I don't have to take it out of the can. It's a freebie now. But we're going to use one today. So that's one more thing from my best before pantry that's gone. And we're going to use it. We're definitely going to use it this time. Now I did break up that cube. And I'm going to add half a cup of boiling water. So very hot water. I'm going to stir it a little bit and let it sit there and dissolve. 
Then I'm going to add that to my hamburgers. Plus, it's going to make it gravy for my for my uh, my sweet potatoes. All right, so I'm going to throw it in. Well, not throw it in, but you know, I'm going to. Let's add that to the frying pan and add it on top. And then I'm just going to put the splash guard on there because we don't want it splashing all over the place. I'm going to turn it down to number two because our potatoes aren't ready yet, but I still want this to cook. So let's, let's cook that for about four minutes on number two. So very, very low. I'm just going to flip it around. Ooh, look how nice they look. They're looking nice. I'm so hungry, guys. This smells amazing. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Jay's going to love this meal for sure. So I was going to make it this morning, but I was like, you know what? I had things to do. I had to go get a little grocery um, haul at the Independent. So that's going to be on my next grocery haul. I just didn't record it. Or I didn't edit the video yet. But I did a little stock up again in my pantry. What a great deal. All right. Okay, so there we go. I just flipped them. Let's put them in for another seven minutes. And how's this doing? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, you look good. Look at you. Oh, it's making a nice gravy, guys. So we'll have a nice gravy for our sweet potatoes today. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Maybe make it a little poutine. Jay would love that. So cheeseburgers and poutine kind of thing. Yeah. So I had some pitas in the fridge, and they were kind of stiff. You know, they're not stale. It's just not pliable very much when they're in the fridge, right? So I put them in the microwave for 30 seconds with a cup of hot water just to steam them up a little bit. So to soften them right up. Okay, so that's ready. That is ready, ready, ready. And it's hot. So maybe I'll take that, put that over there, out of my way. We're going to prepare the hamburger buns, which are pitas, because that's what we have. You do with what you got, guys. It's going to be a next one. Oh, here, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do before I do this, I should have done this before, is actually, this is still on frying pan. So the patties are still in the frying pan. I'm just going to add some cheese on it now. So it gets to melt a little bit. So I'm just going to add some cheese to it. Let it melt. Ooh. So I'm using the extra old cheddar cheese. I want. And there we go. I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes. And then we're gonna add that to our burgers. Now, of course, Jay said yes to a poutine. So it's not fries, but it's gonna do. Let's put that all over my sweet potatoes. Oh shoot. Oh no, that's good. Now on the these, I'm just gonna add a little bit of mustard on each one. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to do that, eh? Don't be stupid. Whatever. And we're going to get some ketchup on there. Ketchup, ketchup, 
ketchup on there. I only have ketchup packets. And I have two ketchup packets. That's just enough for what we need. There we go. I have a mayonnaise packet. <laughs> Gotta love Wendy's. When you go to Wendy's, ask them for extra mayonnaise. Because they'll give you some mayonnaise on the side. And I use them with my fries usually, so. It's gonna be skimpy, but that's okay. Mm. 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 Love my mayonnaise. That's all you really need. You know, I would add pickles, but I don't have any pickles in the fridge and it's not part of the what you got challenge, right? So I'm just gonna add a little bit more fromage. Whatever's left in here just to finish it off. It's not much, but it's just, <laughs> we have some on the burgers anyway, so. There. Okay. Bella, go sit down. I don't need you on your feet right now because we're going back and forth. Go sit down over there, please. Hey, go sit down over there. I don't need you under my feet. This is hot. So, one, two, one, two, and some gravy for that. Actually, we have an extra patty, so a little patty on the side there, just to eat like that. And just drizzle that all over that. Look at that beautiful gravy that a bouillon cube did with the hamburger sauce. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gonna do what you got. This is what you got. Dinner. What you got? Actually, what you got? Lunch. What you got is lunch. What you got? Natty's pita cheeseburgers. What you got? Natty's poutine sweet fries. What you got? Natty's Pita cheeseburgers, what you got? Natty's poots in sweet fries. Sweet potato fries. But they're not fries. Sweet potato rounds. Sweet potato poutine rounds. What you got? Sweet potato poutine rounds. Okay, let's eat. Get the forks out. Oh shit. Okay. Here. For you, monsieur. Merci, madame. 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 So the other that goes on top, it's a hamburger. Okay. Just put them on top there, like that. Sure. Okay, that one goes on top here. So I'm going to try hamburgers first. We're going to try hamburgers first. Did you get into it already? No. No. I didn't try the sweet potato. Wait. You're supposed to wait. We're supposed to try it together. Okay, uh, here's my pita cheeseburger. It would have been better homemade, but what you got, right? Mm. Mm. Still good. <laughs> Our gravy's good, eh? Mm -hmm. That bouillon gravy. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good with the gravy. Mmm. Don't follow me. Freak. Okay. Sweet potato? Sweet potato. Mm-hmm. They weren't cooked long enough. You know, the way I like them. I like them soft. They're not hard, but they're not like completely cooked. Fuck. No, they're good. They're good. I hate that. Some Here's of them are cooked. Like these ones are. Here's something to bite into. 
Instead of like See, that one's soft. Mashed potato. I like when it's soft. Mmm. Mm. That one's not. Piss me off. Mm. The flavor is great. The texture. Mmm. And then noisy. When it's soft, like this one's soft. Mmm. Perfect. And when there's like a slight crunch to it. Oh. Jeez. Mm. Okay, well, we're going to go eat this now. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One out of ten? Nine and a half. Nine and a half? Yeah, I agree. Always room for improvement. Mm -hmm. mm. Cook it longer. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe pebbles. This one's in. crunchy. I like it. Oh. Okay, guys. I'm going to go feed Bella and have my lunch. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with another video. And remember, what you got, let's cook. Don't be shy. Pick something for your freezer. Pick something for your cupboard. And make something. Make concoct something put it together or try something just if you got an idea you had to do it he's learning to do that he would never do that before he used to give me anxiety mm -hmm. i'm like try it what's the worst that could happen tastes like shit big deal <laughs> <laughs> throw it out <laughs> or what's the worst that, well, what's the thing that could happen is you could be addicted to a new new a new dish you know <laughs> try it use what you use, use what you got use what you have in your pantries in your fridge your cupboards, whatever. Juice it up. Concoct. Be the be the kitchen magician that you are. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.